to talk about how you move from teen characters in movies to the preteen characters and the little kids and become one of the most successful producers of children's movies. Is there any particular philosophy that led you in that direction? No, I just uh, did Uncle Buck and uh, I kind of shifted the emphasis on the teenagers and Uncle Buck from always taking, I always took the, 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 uh, the teenage point of view when I did my movies. And when I did Uncle Buck, I took the, the uncles, I took Candy's point of view. And while I was doing that, I, I Mac Macaulay Culkin was in the movie, and I really had fun working with, with a, a boy. You know, I never, that's one age group I'd never, I'd never worked with. So I, when I finished the movie, and I was editing it and watching all Mac's footage, and we tested the picture, and they loved Mac. And so I said, well, I'm going to put more of his scenes back. I went through a lot of the outtakes, and he and Candy had improv a lot. And I just, you know, I just remember what it was like to be nine. Well, this is kind of an interesting area. So I, I had this, the idea for Home Alone, and Mac, that'd be good. What if, what if I did a movie that starred a nine-year-old? You let him carry the whole movie, a kid carry the whole movie. And that's, that's really where it started. And I just kind of stumbled into it. Like, I stumbled into teen films. I started making teen films because... If I was going to direct, I wanted, you know, I wanted to make sure that I didn't have an actor say to me, you know, you have no idea what you're doing, because I didn't. And I figured, well, maybe if they're like 15, they won't ask that question. Or at least I can say to them, do you know what you're doing? And they wouldn't know either. So, you know, it's all accidental. This is not, I mean, career was not planned in any way. And so I went from Teen King to Kidmeister, and <laughs> I don't know what's next. <laughs>